What's up, everybody? This Asian video gamer here today, coming to you with a Dark Souls PvP. Um, this is going to be the part two of my Ghost Rider build, and after playing a little bit more of it, it's actually okay. It's not that bad. Um, as long as you can get the backstab and uh, get, you know, get some some sort of uh, more spells other than the immolation, it's actually not that bad. Um, if you totally rely on your punch, uh, I think there's going to be a big problem. I don't want to use any poison in this build because Ghost Rider doesn't use poison. So I'm not using the spotted whip. I'm using the notch whip. Let me stick with that. And uh, here, uh, first off, this guy just, I don't know why he just shot at me as soon as he saw me. A douchebag. So I uh, gave him a fall to the death. Just, uh, uh, judgment. This guy is wearing a dragon set, and right off the bat, I'm just gonna immolation. Stare into my soul. And then I find that one really good uh, usefulness of uh, the immolation is more of a mental tactic against players, because. They don't know what the fuck that is, and they start panicking. And they another advantage is that, like right there, he can he didn't notice that I was gonna do a fireball. I think the immolation actually blocks the uh, like blocks the guy from seeing it, kind of. It makes his visibility kind of low as to like what I'm doing, so it's harder to read. And plus the rip, the whip doesn't deal any damage like right now. It, it all it does is just chip damage. That's all I'm doing, which is fine. I don't really care. So after one immolation, I'm not gonna do another one because yeah, that would kill me. So that's dumb. Um, but yeah, after this, the only thing I can do is rely on my mannequin knife. Uh, as opposed to why I don't use my dagger instead uh, this one has longer reach so you know what it's a little bit more effective and I'm just gonna stick with that uh, the critical damage is actually the same so it doesn't matter so that special attack is weird I'm like nowhere near him and I still get hit it's kind of kind of kind of weird so some of the armors I'm using, uh, as you can tell, is Dark Mask, the Mannequin Top, the Pants, I don't remember what they were, I think they were either the, uh, they were either the, r the Cleric one, or the Rogue, or the Leather one, and here I don't know why I didn't look, I, I didn't think that this guy was going to camouflage as a cage so I got caught off guard but you know my my reaction is pretty fast so I got out of that uh, this guy's wearing a butterfly armor which makes his jump a little faster and also starts uh, dealing poison on to anybody that's close and to be honest I think that, that that set looks really nice and that guy like you can see it, it's it actually glides down it's not like an immediate fall it, it does do a little bit um, slower animation in that but right now after I started immolating this guy I don't know why he's not coming at me anymore I don't know why immolation deals no damage he's running away from me I don't know. I guess I should have healed, but whatever. I'm not gonna heal in this game. I'm, I'm not gonna heal in the duel. So this guy changes up to the small club for faster damage, I guess. And I'm gonna try to hit him with Pyromancy, but that's not really gonna work. He took out this crossbow. I'm not gonna fall for that. And then, uh, yeah. The startup frame for the whip is too slow, and it didn't tag him in time, and I got killed. So here, another match, another guy. This guy has like a uh, freaking 
Miracle's up the ass. Uh, this guy is just chucking this thing in and I can't do any damage to him. So, and he pulls out an, a freaking Claymore at this, I think it's a Claymore. But, you know, it's so unfair on this bridge using the Claymore because you have nowhere to dodge. So yeah, good for you, bitch. Good for you. Next up, well, the duels actually went a lot in my favor, but you know when people are really overpowered gears and really like 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 this again, like <laughs> lightning sword and uh, also the uh, whatever thing, the the full alum armor set so I like completely no way I can uh, get away from that and he also have a element buff on him to boot so I don't know anyways uh, I guess this guy is actually playing kind of on uh, cool cuz you know like he he took out his buff went for another took off his shield but you know I can't deal damage to him like no damage and for some reason it lags a little bit as well like I realize like it's not really that fast like the, the reaction is not that fast and I don't know why he's just staring at me and now I realize he's coming at me and boom Parry, attack, and deal no damage. Great. And then, yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I guess I should have kept parrying him because he's just doing that and it's very easy to parry. But instead, I do that and then I get killed here. I miss. And then I get killed. So, yeah. That's how most of the duels go. I believe this is the last fight. I think this is the last time we're going to see Ghost Rider. Because I'm pretty tired of this build and bored of it. You know, Immolation. I might use it in other builds. But I'm going to need as much health as I, at least, as this guy. And I put like 50 points in Vitality on this character. So I think he's about 170 level. I, I don't remember. This guy's using tool, dual hammers. Dual great hammers. That's pretty hard to master, you know, like having to dual. And he's, I think he's doing like a fat roll right now, and you know, that's, that's not cool. You're gonna get killed. You know, like that, you can't dodge it. There's no way you can dodge that. Like, I don't want to... But then the damage from it, it's... I don't know. The damage from it it's, doesn't seem to justify... Slowness and all that stuff. But yeah. Good game, guys. Here's a bonus clip.